Hello, and welcome to another edition of CUDACasts. In this video, we are going to explore a new feature that was added to NVIDIA SMI in CUDA 5.5. One interest that is fairly unique to high-performance computing is the ability to track the resource usage of each job in a cluster, such as for the purpose of improving, improving utilization, justifying new hardware purchases, or billing users for their time on the system. This is frequently described with the term accounting, and in CUDA 5.5, We've added some basic accounting stats to NVIDIA SMI to help address this. Before we begin, it should be noted that on Linux, it is usually desirable to enable GPU persistence mode. This keeps the NVIDIA driver initialized even when no clients are present. In environments without X, this can be a common situation. By keeping the driver initialized between CUDA application runs or NVIDIA SMI queries, we preserve any non-persistent driver settings. This is important for GPU accounting, as in the in-memory data associated with this feature is lost if the driver is unloaded. Persistence mode can be enabled like so. When trying to understand available features and command line options, a good place to start is always the NVIDIA SMI man page. And also the NVIDIA SMI In both of these, you'll see descriptions of the relevant accounting commands and outputs. The following command shows the type of data that can be associated with an accounted process. The basic idea is that the NVIDIA driver will keep track of each GPU process referenced by the CPU process ID and calculate the following per process properties. One, time the lifetime of the process defined as the duration of its compute context. Number two, the high watermark for memory usage. This is the maximum frame buffer memory requirement for the process over its lifetime. And finally three, the average memory and GPU utilization for the process. These values are averaged across the lifetime of the process. One way to view current accounting data is to run NVIDIA SMI and query the accounting. We see that accounting is currently disabled on this GPU, so the first step is to enable it. This requires root admin privileges. We run sudo nvidia smi, select our index, and we enable accounting. Rerunning the previous command, we now see that accounting is enabled, but there are no processes recorded. This makes sense as we have yet to run any CUDA applications on the GPU with accounting enabled. Before running a CUDA application, we'd like to ensure that it runs on the GPU we are interested in, which is in my case is the K20C. One way to do this is to use the CUDA Visible Devices Environment and Variable, which can restrict the set of GPUs that CUDA apps can run on. In this case, we'd like to restrict CUDA apps to run only on the K20C, the GPU that currently has GPU counting enabled. Since the enumeration of GPUs by CUDA can be different than the enumeration of devices by NVIDIA SMI, we should check first to find the CUDA index of the K20C. We can do this by running the device query sample included in the CUDA toolkit. Here we can see that the K20C is at index 0. With this in mind, we can restrict CUDA applications to run only on this GPU, like so. Running device query again, we see that only the K20C is available. Note that CUDA visible devices only impacts what CUDA applications can see. NVIDIA SMI as a monitoring tool and management tool is unaffected by these CUDA specific requests. That is why we must still use the dash I command to limit the scope of our actions. With this done, we can now run some CUDA applications to accrue accounting information. From the CUDA samples, let's run nBody. This is a compute heavy app. Let's also run another app like the bandwidth test.
Now let's view the collected accounting data. An easy way to provide a human readable summary is via the command we used earlier. Here we can see that two processes have now been recorded. The first is the M body, and the second is the bandwidth test. Another useful way to access this accounting data is through scriptable output. This can be done using a different command as shown here. This is useful in cases where the immediate consumer of this data is another process rather than human eyes. Accounting data can be reset by running Checking the accounting after doing this shows that all the previous accounting has been removed. That's it for now on the new accounting feature of NVIDIA SMI available with CUDA 5.5. Thanks for watching this edition of CUDAcasts.